Hi, I'm Emily, and I'm the Castle Girl. Today, I'm at Auchindoon Castle. Auchindoon Castle was an L-planned four-storey tower house castle. It sits on top of a remote hill near Glen Fiddock in Auchindoon, near Dufftown, looking over the mountains to Strathdon. Its impressive stone vault over the first floor indicates that the castle had much style and sophistication. It had a large tower house in the centre, which is in ruins now, and had a high curtain wall, which is still visible today. A round tower in the northwest corner would have guarded the stronghold. Inside the walls, it housed stables, a brewery and a bakehouse. There were most likely cellars and a dungeon under the tower. It is thought that Thomas Cochrane, an alleged favourite of King James III of Scotland, designed the castle in the mid-1400s. He designed several buildings in Scotland during this time. Built for the King's younger brother John, the Earl of Mar, before the king had him murdered for treason in 1480. The castle and his title was then given to Thomas Cochrane. Thomas Cochrane was hanged at Lauder Bridge in 1482 by the Scottish king's other brother Alexander who was the Duke of Albany. Alexander hoped to replace James on the throne after giving up a part of Scotland to Edward IV of England. The castle was passed to the Ogilvy family in the early 1500s. It was given to Alexander Ogilvy by his uncle James in 1509. The castle was sold to Adam Gordon in 1567 by Alexander Ogilvy's son. The Gordons were loyal supporters of Mary Queen of Scots and were often in conflict with the nearby Forbes family over ownership of the Old Hill Road to Strathdon. In 1571, 
Adam Gordon murdered all the Forbes who were sheltering at Gore Garth Castle and burnt it down. This outrage was made famous in a ballad called Edom O' Gordon. Adam Gordon was beheaded in Perth by the Cook of Huntley Castle in 1580. Auchindoun was used for safety and refuge by the Earl of Huntley after the Battle of Glenlivet in 1594. In 1689, the castle was used by the Jacobites as a military base. The castle was abandoned in 1725. The remains of the castle are in care now of Historic Environment Scotland. Thanks for watching and I look forward to visiting a castle near you. Bye.